today I'm going to show you how to make clams steamed in white wine with homemade garlic bread. And it is delicious. I think you'll love it. Mmm. <laughs> that is so good. I think you should stay tuned to watch how to cook this. First thing you want to do is um, put your butter into a plastic container so that it can um, soften at room temperature. And you want about a fourth of a pound of butter. And just put that in a plastic container and set it aside to soften. Make the bed bread, you're gonna need a plastic bowl, or you could use a glass bowl, whatever, a large bowl, and you're going to need um, one and a fourth cup warm water and put that in the bowl then you're going to need one tablespoon of brown sugar and you want to whisk that in until you dissolve it you want to add one and a half tablespoons of active dry yeast. There's one. There's a half. And then you want to whisk that in. Try to dissolve the yeast as much as possible. You want to add one and a half teaspoons of salt. You want to add one and a half tablespoons of olive oil. And stir that. You want to add about three cups of flour and little bits at a time. And it's perfect to get this bread started early in the morning, so I'll be ready for dinner time. And that's what I'm doing. That's why I'm still in my pajamas. And just mix in that flour. Add a little more. Add the last of the flour and just knead it into the dough. I just want to knead this a little bit more until it gets most of the flour in the bowl. Probably good enough. I just want to pick up the dough and discard any extra flour in the bowl. Set it aside. Put a little bit of olive oil in the bowl. And just kind of get the olive oil to coat the whole bowl. Round up the dough, get it into kind of a ball, roll it around so it's all coated with olive oil. Cover it with 
with a damp towel and let it raise for an hour. Now that your dough is risen, you want to punch it down. Kind of knead it. And then you want to divide it in half. Roll it into two balls. Then you want to spread some flour on the counter. And take your loaf and roll it out and you want to place that on a baking sheet. Okay. Then take the other loaf and roll it out. Place that on your baking sheet. And you want to cover that with a wet towel and let it raise for half an hour. You need to preheat the oven to 375 degrees. Take the towel off the loaves of bread and cut diagonally with a sharp knife across the top of the bread. You could use a razor blade instead of a sharp knife and that would probably work better. Tops of the bread with water. Now that the oven is warm, I want to go ahead and keep and place the bread in the oven. Set the timer for 30 minutes. So your loaf should look like that once it's done. Golden brown. You want to preheat the oven for 350 degrees. To make the garlic bread, you want to crush about four to five garlic cloves. You want to take a little bit of Italian parsley, just cut off the leaves. Chop the parsley. You want to chop it up in fine pieces. So, get a good chop. Then take your softened butter.
try not to make a mess like I did. And take your garlic cloves. And crush them into the butter. Then you want to add the parsley. And preheating so it'll be ready for us then you want to add some salt and just mix that butter up I'm going to take your loaf of garlic bread and slice it lengthwise You want to take your garlic butter and spread it on the bread. Then you want to stick the bread in the oven and let it toast. Now you want about four more cloves for the clams. And you just want to crush those and get them ready for putting in the clams. Rinse up your shallot, put it first like that. Then cut it like that. And you're going to want some more parsley. You want to chop this up real small too. small pan and you want to put about a table, two tablespoons of butter in the pan and let that melt. Melted. Add your crushed garlic. And add your shallots. And let that get golden brown. Add your white wine. I'm using a Chardonnay. And you want to wait for that to boil. For it's boiling, you want to add a pound of clams. And cover it and let it steam until all the clams have opened up. Stir occasionally too. The clams have steamed for about 15 minutes. Go ahead and take the top off and stir them. And then add the parsley.
and then remove it from heat. Once you're done with the clams, pull the bread out of the oven. And it should be nice and toasted. To serve the clams, you need a bowl and a ladle. And just scoop the clams into the bowl. Make sure you get lots of sauce too. Have delicious clams steamed in white wine with garlic bread.